TYT Sports on this Saturday, talking boxing as always with our guy Robert Axel, the editor in chief of boxing.com. Robert, we have a pretty interesting fight on, uh, on HBO on Saturday at the Barclays Center. Bernard Hopkins, the 48 year old ageless light heavyweight, that is Bernard Hopkins, at least a light heavyweight now in this stage of his career against Tavares Cloud. Tavares Cloud coming off a bit of controversy. Uh, that's undermining how big of a controversy it actually was. In my eyes and in many, he lost to Gabriel Campillo after he knocked down uh, the, Spanish, the Spanish man twice in the first round. He did not even rally back at all. You could say that he won another round at most. With Bernard Hopkins, he fought against Chad Dawson, won no contest. The next one, he was just beaten and battered throughout. He looked his age. So from that unique perspective, what should we look forward to with both of these fighters coming off basically a loss? Well, I think we can expect Hopkins to be Hopkins. Hopkins is not going to change. He is uh, as well established as he has ever been. He is getting older, of course, but he is going up against somebody who does have a new trainer in, uh, in um, Abel Sanchez. Cloud is younger. Uh, he is probably hungrier, but I fear that both Cloud and Sanchez um, don't have the ring smarts that Hopkins has, despite his age. I mean, Hopkins, Hopkins has really forgotten more about boxing than both of them combined. An incredible story for Bernard Hopkins. The late Bert Sugar had this to say about him. Younger, stronger fighters would try to bull rush Hopkins only to find that he could tie them up tighter than Willie Nelson's headband. Younger guys would think that an old boxer must be an easy target only to find out when they stood in front of him, they couldn't hit him with a handful of stones. 21 wins in 21 fights from 1990 to 1993. And after he won those 21 straight fights, in 95 to 2005, 19 wins, won no contest, lost twice to Jermaine Taylor. He beat Antonio Tarver and he beat Winky Wright. He lost to Calzaghe, beat Kelly Pavlik, beat Roy Jones, even though that fight was a little... Uh, probably past Roy Jones's prime. And then he beat Pascal. And then, of course, the uh, two not fantastic fights against Chad Dawson. Uh, is that the sort of mantra that Bernard Hopkins basically takes with him to the ring? Yeah, absolutely. He has said it from, uh, for, been saying it for years. They've been calling him old for years and been saying he's been washed up for years and for years he's proven people wrong. He has trouble with tall, lanky guys who are kind of slick, uh, like Chad Dawson. Uh, but somebody like uh, Cloud is not really slick. I mean, he's a heavy hitter. He comes, he's going to come forward. And in some ways, he's ready made for Hopkins. It really is going to boil down to whether or not Hopkins can get that 48 year old body of his to perform as he wants it to. One should never count Hopkins out. I mean, he is. He's the grand old master of boxing. There's no question about it. If anybody can take a uh, divorce cloud to school, it's Professor Hopkins. IBF light heavyweight champion is Tavares Cloud, who hails from Florida, 31 years old. That caught me by surprise a little bit. His notable wins, Yusef Mack, Glenn Johnson, and Clinton Woods. Not the biggest names. Yusef Mack is relevant. Glenn Johnson will always be relevant, the road warrior. And Clinton Woods is just, nah, he's whatever. Can he really work behind that jab, that double jab that he did to knock down Campillo twice against Hopkins. How, how do you go about attacking Hopkins? Oh, uh, well, with a head full of buckshot, and, and if you're lucky, some of it will land. It's not clear how you attack, attack Hopkins. I mean, you basically outwork Hopkins. That's the thing. You press Hopkins to the ropes, and you just outwork him. You take the early round so that Hopkins has to play catch up. And Hopkins knows what Cloud's game plan is. And Hopkins has got the skills to really turn that game plan on its head. I really do believe that that cloud, I mean, whatever his gifts are, are not really gifts that are strong enough to, to defeat Hopkins at his own game. And I'm not really clear exactly what cloud's game is, given his competition, given his last fight against Campillo, whereas Hopkins is a known quantity. Is there anything left for Bernard Hopkins to prove? I mean, he's 48 years old. He has won in multiple divisions. He is one of the best untold stories, it seems like, to sports fans. Not boxing fans, but sports fans in general. Oh, clearly not. But he understands that there are a few ways in which he can make in excess of $10 million for an evening's worth of work. There's nothing left for him to prove, but there's money left for him to make, and I think I, that is why Bernard Hopkins is fighting. Now, I believe you may have dropped a hint that Bernard Hopkins, in your eyes, will win this fight. Is that correct? Uh, yes, I believe he will win by a... Uh, 
by a unanimous decision. Oh, not first round knockout? That's interesting. Okay. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> I, uh, Robert, you know, I've gone back and forth. I really don't know who to take. Uh, my hunch is that Tavares Cloud is going to come in really hungry and he's going to win this fight. I, I mean, there's really no way of me backing it up. Bernard Hopkins is the ageless wonder at 48 years old, multiple division winner. But there's something about Cloud. He's the younger fighter, 17 years younger. We've talked about Jean Pascal, so it seems like age isn't even the biggest thing. But he needs that big, notable win. If you compare the losses, Bernard Hopkins has a much worse loss than what Tavares Cloud had. Tavares Cloud obviously was given the win, but Bernard Hopkins looked terrible throughout that Chad Dawson fight. Everyone said, well, you know, maybe he's done. Maybe he's over the hump. And right when you think that he's over the hump, he comes back and he starts winning you over again by winning fights. I think it possibly comes to an end, not by knockout, but by probably a split decision. If he wins, what will happen for Bernard Hopkins? I think if he wins, I think he may go out. I think he may go out on top. Uh, he, has, uh, he has a position at Golden Boy uh, Promotions. I mean, he has a whole sort of future mapped out for him. I think if he loses, uh, he won't go out on top. I mean, he'll probably try to fight again, uh, if for no other reason, to sort of prove a point that doesn't really need to be proven. What about Cloud? Go through the hypotheticals. Uh, well, if he wins, I mean, he continues to fight. I mean, he will be the man who, who presumably retired Bernard Hopkins. I mean, that remains to be seen. If he loses, is, um, I'm sure Don King has got a place for him somewhere on his estate. Um, there'll be something for him to do um, you know, in the years to come. Robert Exel, the editor-in-chief of Boxing.com. You could follow him on Twitter at Boxing underscore com and follow his great writing at www.boxing.com. Robert, we will uh, talk to you next week. Okay, Rick. Talk to you soon.